Hello, welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series powered by Ambition Software. In the previous video, we have discussed some facts about loop. Today, we will dive deep into the loops and discuss nested loop. So, let's move to some examples for the real fact. In this program, we want to print the pattern shown on the screen. If you observe carefully, in this pattern, the series from 1 to 5 gets printed for 5 times. So, to print this pattern, we first need to print the numbers from 1 to 5. To print the numbers from 1 to 5, we write a loop for j equals to 1, j less than equal to 5 and j plus plus and print the value of j. In this way, we can print the numbers from 1 to 5. And now, a variable j should be declared. So, we declare a variable j. If you compile and run this program to check the output, you can see the series from 1 to 5 gets printed. Now to print this series for the 5 times, we want to repeat this task for the 5 times. But before this, we need to move the cursor in the new line. So we print the slash n after executing the whole loop. In this way, the series from 1 to 5 gets printed and cursor move to the next line. To repeat this task for the 5 times, we write another loop that runs for the 5 times. That is i equals to 1, i less than equal to 5, i plus plus. Now to print the series from 1 to 5 for the 5 times, we can move these statements within this loop. In this way, the series of 1 to 5 will be repeated for the 5 times and each time line changed after printing the numbers from 1 to 5. In this way, you can achieve the pattern that is shown on the screen. Now, you should declare the variable i. Compile and run the program to check the output and you can see the desired pattern is achieved. Now for the better understanding, start executing this program manually. In this program, first i is initialized with 1, then condition is tested. This condition is true. So the loop from 1 to 5 gets executed and a series of numbers from 1 to 5 gets printed. For the next time when i will 2, Again, the series from 1 to 5 gets printed. For i equals to 3, this task is again repeated. For i equals to 4, this task is again repeated. For i equals to 5, this task is again repeated. When i equals to 6, the condition becomes false and the loop terminates. In this sequence of loop, the loop of i is called outer loop and loop of j is called inner loop. If you observe carefully, here outer loop count the rows and in a loop count the columns. Moving to the next program in the series of nested loop, we want to print this pattern. And as you can see in this pattern, we want to print the five lines. But this time in each line, the number is not same. In the first line, only one number is printed. In the second line, only two numbers is printed. In the third line, only three numbers is printed and so on. So. First we write a loop for counting the rows that is i equals to 1, i less than equal to 5, i plus plus and then change the line because after printing each line we want to change the line. Now we write the loop for the column that is j equals to 1, j less than equal to 5 as you see in the previous program and then print the value of j. But as you see in the previous program, this will print the series from 1 to 5 in each line. But this time we don't want it. This time we want to run this loop for one time in the first line, for two time in the second line, for three time in the third line, for four time in the fourth line and for five time in the fifth line. That means here should be a variable which value should be 1 in the first line, 2 in the second line, 3 in the third line, 
4 in the fourth line and so on the variable i is incremented in the similar way so we put i here in this way this loop executes one time in the first line two time in the second line and the desired pattern is achieved compile and run the program to check the output and you can see the desired pattern is achieved now the time to generalize this program suppose we want to print the n line of this pattern so first we read the value of n from the user for this we write the statement printf enter the number of lines and read the value in a variable called n and to print the n lines we replace this 5 with n in this way we can print the n line of the same pattern now we should declare the variable n compile and run this program to check the output now this program prompt to enter the number of lines i enter 8 and you can see 8 line gets printed well move to the next program that is we want to print this pattern if you observe carefully this pattern is much similar as the previous pattern but the difference is the numbers will never change until the line is changed so here is the program that you have write for the previous pattern if you observe carefully you need to think now what is the thing in this program that never change until the line is changed I think that is I so I change the printing from J to I and rest of the program will be same and I can achieve this pattern compile another program to check the output here the console prompt for the number of lines I enter 5 and you can see the desired output is achieved let's moving to the next pattern that is we want to print this pattern the only difference in this pattern and the pattern we have previously done is that in this pattern we want to print the alphabets in the place of numbers as you know that each alphabet has its equivalent ASCII that means now you need to print the ASCII in the place of numbers as you know that A has the ASCII 65 B has the ASCII 60 6 C has the ASCII 67 and so on so to print this pattern you need to convert the 1 into 65 2 into 66 to convert 1 into 65 I add up the 64 in I in this way where I's value is 1 will be converted into 65 where i's value is 2 is converted into 66 in this way we successfully convert the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 into the alphabets equivalent ascii but to print this pattern we don't want to print the series of integer numbers we want to print the series of characters so replace percent d with percent c and rest of the things will be same as previous in this way you can print this pattern compile and run the program to check the output first program prompt for the number of lines I entered 5 and you can see the desired output gets printed so here we will end up this video in the next video we will discuss some more patterns thank you for watching this video if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe if you have any queries or suggestions Please comment on us.